In this video, we're going to show you how to upgrade firmware on your IP camera. I have my IP camera connected to our PoE NVR, and here you can see it on the top right hand window. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is click on right click here on the screen somewhere and go to the main menu. Then click on camera on the bottom left hand side and then select remote from the left hand category menu and then select upgrade from the tab above as you can see here and click select to navigate over to the USB flash drive that I have connected on the top here I can select my flash drive you can see it shows up as SDC and if you don't see your flash drive you want to press the refresh button to rescan the USB ports to see if your uh, drive comes back just make sure your drive is formatted using the FAT32 file system from the bottom here, I'm going to select my update file. Uh, this update file is meant for the camera. I am uh, upgrading. Make sure you're using the correct file we provide. Please don't use a file obtained elsewhere. Double click on the file name and it will populate above on the address bar. As you can see here, make sure it's appearing here on the address bar before you go and press the OK button. Once that's done, uh, you can see in the upgrade file path here, your file is populated and then select the camera you want to push this firmware to. In this case, it's my second camera. I'm going to press Start Upgrade. It's going to display a message. Um, just press Yes. And once that's started, if you scroll down towards the right-hand side of the menu here, you'll see the upgrade status. Um, the firmware is being uploaded to the camera, and then it will start upgrading. So so you will see the percent completed increase over time. We have sped up our video here just to save time, but it takes about a minute, minute and a half to upgrade the firmware. Once it's done, you will see a finish a status as here, and the camera will then power off and reboot. After rebooting, the camera will reappear in the same window as it was before. And if you've used the correct firmware file, you will see video again. It's very important you use the correct firmware for the corresponding camera. Hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.